Welcome back. So for our next lesson, we're going to look at an artist named George Rodrigue and his um, paintings of the blue dog. Um, the reason why they were titled blue dog, because most of the dogs that he painted ended up being blue. Um, let me show you a few samples to give you an idea of what this artwork looked like and what the artist created. And then we'll go ahead and learn some steps for making our own creation. So this is... There we go, an example of the art of George Rodrigue. Um, this sample here is a picture of his actual dog, so a dog that he had. And then this is one of his first blue dog paintings that he ever created based on his own dog. And I like this because we actually have a dog. I have a dog named Scruffy that looks a lot like that. So the paintings from George Rodrigue remind me a lot of my own, my own dog. Um, so just something that... A connection I have. Um, so anyways, the artist was born in 1944 <clears throat> and he passed away in 2013. Um, the first Blue Dog painting was in 1984 and it was based off of his own his own dog and this story that um, where he lived in Louisiana and Cajun country, this was an old Cajun um, folk tale about a werewolf and it was kind of a dog-like werewolf. Now, what he did was he tried to make his dog into this little dog-like werewolf that were in these Cajun stories from Louisiana. And the dog looks like he's kind of standing in front of the spooky house with a spooky background, background kind of like he's the protector. Um, the other thing he did with his dog to make it look a little bit different besides being blue is he always had yellow glowing eyes, kind of like that idea of a werewolf. So his dog was kind of this uh, werewolf-like dog from Cage, from an old Cajun story um, from where he was from. A lot of his artwork had to do with Louisiana and where he grew up and where he was from. And you can see from the background, it kind of looks like a swamp. <clears throat> and that's a lot of what it looked like where he lived. Now, other versions of the blue dog it kind of evolved from this sort of a spooky looking background to more fun variations and these are later paintings by George Rodrigue of the blue dog. Same dog, same sorts of colors, but he started having fun with it. And these are more like Mardi Gras dogs. Mardi Gras is a celebration that's celebrated in that area and actually around the world and a lot of costumes. So he dressed up the dogs in costumes in this. So kind of look at these for ideas for what you could do when you make your own blue dog. What would you like to do to yours? Hats and a vest ties, all sorts of different things, a crown. So you can think about that. Maybe if you play sports, maybe you put a jersey on your blue dog and maybe a hat for your favorite team, or maybe the blue dog has a basketball near it. So think about things that you might want to do for yours. There's another one, the blue dog riding a motorcycle with his goggles and his scarf. So just different ideas. And that is George Rodrigue right there. That's a picture of the artist with his paintings in the background. More of the original series where it kind of looks like a swamp in the background, like a Louisiana swamp area. Sometimes he had flowers in the picture. Oh, there's one with a gator in, in the swamp and the blue dog. There's one holding a couple flowers in his mouth. And the cowboy-like blue dog with his boots and scarf and hat. So you can kind of look at those and think of different ideas. And one posing, standing on a stool with a tie. So what kind of fun things could you do to your blue dog once we uh, learn how to draw our own? So there's several samples. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and switch back. And what we can do is do a quick outline of how to draw a, a dog in the same style as his. And then you can have fun with it and do all sorts of stuff afterwards. So one thing we can do, I think, that might make it a little easier this isn't required, but it might help you. If we fold our paper in half, and have a couple guidelines there, and then I'll fold it in half this way. These guidelines might help you when you're drawing yours. Open it up. Okay, I'm gonna have my paper this way just because that's how it fits best. Okay, now when you draw the blue dog, there's a lot of ways to do this. I like to start with in the center here along the center line where the fold is I like to start with the nose okay so I'm gonna start about here and draw a line that's gonna go like this 
that's the center right there, the center of my paper where the fold is. Okay, and I come back down on this side. And then this is my other crease, my other folds right here. So I'm going to draw the dog's nose and snout like right here. And this is going right towards the middle of my paper. This is my fold. And then I'm going to go up a little bit and back down, kind of like that. And then his chin would be like right here, mouth and chin. Now the nose. The nose is going to be right in this area. So I would draw sort of a square shape, but with curved edges for the nose. A couple little spots in the middle, and then that can just be filled in. You don't have to color that now, but I'm just shading it in to show you that the nose would be filled in black. Okay, so there's the main outline of the nose. Now on to the head. I like to start towards the top, and I'm going to start here and draw a line. It's going to go across a little bit of fur there. Okay, something like that. And then we need to get some ears. So the ears, a little bump out towards the corner. And then back in like so. That could be one ear. And then the other one over here, maybe a little bump of fur and out towards the corner. And back in. Okay, had pretty large ears. And then I'm going to take this line and follow it right back into here. And sometimes I make it a little bumpy as I go, so he looks like he has some fur there. And then all the way back. Okay, that's kind of like the main outline of the blue dog's head. Now the ears, I like to put a little bit of a little line in there, like the inside of his ear. It's kind of like a triangle, but with some little bumps that look like fur. Okay, so there's my ears. And then the eyes. The eyes, I just start off with circles, one on each side. Then we're going to do a couple things to make it look more like the eyes that George Rodriguez does with the blue dog. Okay, there's the eye, the center of the eye. And then around the eye, he has these little pieces like this. Like there's a little line that comes out like this on the eye. And then there's another one on the top. And there's another one on the bottom like that. Okay, he has that around the eyes on his blue dog, so I'm going to try to make mine the same. When he paints them, he has these little darker areas of fur kind of coming out around the eyes, probably because that's what his dog's eyes look like. And then above the eye, there's a little bit of like an eyebrow. And then I'll put one on this side. A little bit of an eyebrow, and then there's also some of that under the eye. There's like a little patch of fur underneath the eye that's a little bit different color in his. Okay, so there's the main idea for the head shape. Now, I'm going to work below the fold now. This is my fold, and we'll work on like where the body's at. So on this side, I'm going to start about here, draw a line. It's going to kind of curve down like so, and then right about here, I will draw a little point for his paw. And then I can do the same on this side. I'm going to come around like this, curve down to about here, and do a little point for his paw. Okay? And these paws, these will curve up. This one will kind of curve up so it looks like his legs. And then right across his chest, there you go, maybe a little fur there. And then on the outside of this, instead of leaving it straight, you can always make it kind of bumpy. So it looks like he has fur. There we go. And then we need the back legs. So on the back legs, we'll draw one on this side. There's one leg and foot in the back. And then the other one, another foot and a leg coming in. So it looks like he's sitting, those are the back legs. So that's kind of like your main outline for the blue dog, like it's sitting there. Now, this dog is mostly, like I said, different shades of blue. So I could do blue on most of the dog, a darker blue on the eyebrow and this piece underneath. But the whole thing is basically different shades of blue. You can use more than one color, more than one blue, like maybe I have more than one blue crayon, a dark and a light one, and you're going to color it in. Now, details. What do I want to do for mine? Well, we talked about ideas. There's hats, there's all sorts of stuff. Here's a little sheet that I have of ideas. Hats, sunglasses, a basketball, different things that you could add to your blue dog. Um, here's another thing that I have in a cartooning book with ideas. 
different things you can add to your blue dog. I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I used to like the skateboard when I was a kid. Maybe I'll put mine on a skateboard. So I'm going to add a skateboard to mine. Okay, there's the board. And maybe there's a wheel here and a wheel here. Okay, there's my blue dog on the skateboard. I can do some designs on my skateboard if I want so it's not empty. Maybe my skateboard has like little spirals on it. Sometimes you'd see designs in the blue dog pictures. Okay, <clears throat> I always like the ones where he has a tie, so maybe I'll give mine a tie. Okay, these are just ideas. You don't have to copy mine. You can do all sorts of different things. And maybe his try is filled with little stripes. So think about what you want on your blue dog. Do you want to give him a hat? Okay, what's in the background? <clears throat> maybe I draw a little um, sidewalk here like he's on the street skateboarding. And there's a little sidewalk here behind him. Okay, maybe behind there there's some buildings. We actually did buildings earlier this year, if you remember. We did buildings a couple times. So maybe I'll look like there's like some city and buildings behind my blue dog. So it's not empty. There we go. So I have a little city and he's on his skateboard. He's got his tie. There he goes. So there's my sample of the blue dog. So <clears throat> you have fun with it. Use this to help you draw the outline. Once you have the outline, you can kind of decide on the background and what kind of details and designs you want to have and have fun with it. What is your dog wearing? What kind of items does he have? Okay, there's my sample and you guys have fun. I look forward to seeing your final copy.